Are you looking for a new L1 to explore? Maybe some DeFi apps, but you don't want to get scammed or rugged? This is the video for you. In fact, the first video in a series that will focus on Gnosis Chain. Let's begin with a list of project categories we'll touch on in this video, beginning with DEXs and farming, borrowing and lending, derivatives and index tokens, and then we'll also share some tools available for portfolio tracking, privacy protection, and we'll wrap up with a list of bridges you can use to bring your assets over to Gnosis Chain. Getting started with DEXs and farms, there's two things you should know right off the bat. Number one, the utility token used for transactions on most side chains tends to fluctuate in value. So if you're transacting on Polygon, you use Matic. If you're transacting on Avalanche, you use AVAX. Things are a bit different on Gnosis Chain. The utility token used for transactions is in fact XDAI, a stablecoin. The second thing to note is that transaction costs on Gnosis Chain are the cheapest you will find on any active sidechain. We're talking sub-cent transactions. So again, the utility token is a stable coin. You will pay a fraction of a cent for fast transactions on Gnosis Chain. The largest DeFi project on Gnosis Chain by TVL is Curve Finance. Majority of their liquidity is in a three pool containing wrapped XDAI, USDC, and USDT, currently earning over 10% in GNO. If you are earning GNO on your stables and curve or simply hold it in your wallet, you should definitely check out stakewise.io. The project was recently deployed on Gnosis Chain, bringing liquid staking to the GNO token. Simply deposit your GNO and you'll receive SGNO in exchange, an interest-bearing token, and earn RGNO at up to 18%. Now, both these tokens will be fully redeemable for the Gnosis token when the beacon chain enables withdrawals. Also worth noting, the Stakewise team intends to launch an SGNO pool on Curve Finance on Gnosis Chain in the near future. Keep an eye on Twitter for more information. Top of the list of decks is we have CowSwap, project initially spun out of Gnosis. The protocol is deployed on ETH mainnet and Gnosis Chain. CowSwap employs a novel combination of batch auctions and liquidity provisioning to create MEV protected trades through a process they refer to as the coincidence of wants. What does that mean for you as the end user? Well, if you're interested in avoiding either excessively high gas fees and or being front run on your trades, CowSwap is a DEX for you. You can also find more traditional DEXs such as HoneySwap or Swapper on Gnosis Chain. HoneySwap, the very first fork of Uni v2 ever deployed off mainnet back in 2020, an interesting crypto milestone there for you, uh, as well as Swapper, they got DIY farms, so you can create your own farms uh, using the Swapper interface, definitely something that you want to go ahead and check out. Gnosis Chain is also home to bigger name DEXs such as Sushi and OneInch, if you're familiar with those protocols from using them on mainnet or other L1s. Another DEX-related project on Gnosis Chain is Elk Finance. They have a Uniswap front end along with some great farming opportunities. Of course, the Elk token is an asset of exchange across over a dozen blockchains where the Elk project is deployed. Another project you don't want to miss is Symmetric Finance, a balancer fork on Gnosis Chain. Symmetric has integrations with other projects in the ecosystem and has healthy APYs on a number of pools. Another cool piece of DeFi tech built on Gnosis Chain is the Minerva Streaming Farms. You may have heard of Minerva by way of their wallet tech. If not, you should head over to the Google Play Store and check out their app. It's a very cool mobile-first crypto experience. Their streaming farms, of course, enable liquidity providers to mint an NFT that entitles them to a stream of funds that can increase over time. By virtue of being an NFT, it's also possible to take these assets and sell them on secondary markets. Another project worthy of note in the DEX and farming category is Zion Finance, a protocol that resembles in many ways what you might come to expect from the likes of PancakeSwap. You can swap, earn, participate in a launchpad program and or their NFT metaverse. So if you've been around the L1 block, as it were, you may have come across AutoFarm, a yield aggregation platform currently deployed on 15 different chains, among them Gnosis Chain. So you can check them out if you're interested in some yield farming. You can check out the current rates over on the left. Transitioning now to derivatives and index fund projects, we have a few for you to consider. The first of which is Perpetual Protocol. Originally deployed on ETH mainnet and also available on Optimism, Perpetual Protocol has been deployed on Gnosis Chain to take advantage of those super cheap transaction fees. Now you can go long and short different asset pairs. You can take up to 10x leverage on your trades using Perpetual Protocol. 
Next up is Hedgy Finance, a very cool project working to build useful tools for DAO treasury management. The latest product combines discount OTC sales, customizable vesting, and NFTs into an awesome mix that allows DAOs to hold discount OTC sales, customizing the vesting period, and granting the purchaser an NFT that will live in their wallet until the vesting period is over, or they can turn around and sell it on secondary markets. It's a very cool tech there, and check them out at hedgy.finance. Also deployed on Gnosis Chain are the DHive clusters. Now, these are index tokens that reflect underlying collateral from project tokens around the Gnosis Chain ecosystem. Right now, they have two products live on chain. The first is the DGnosis cluster, made up of leading DeFi project tokens, as well as the X Infra cluster, which reflects project tokens more associated with DAO tooling and infrastructure. Moving on now to portfolio tracking and privacy, a couple projects worth taking a look at. First off is DeBank, uh, raising 25 million from a variety of VC sponsors last year, including Coinbase and Crypto.com. You can track your assets, history, and uh, approvals across over a thousand protocols and over 20 networks, including Gnosis Chain. Also in the portfolio tracking category is APY.Vision. If you are a liquidity provider on Gnosis Chain or other L1s interested in tracking your portfolio's performance, your gains, your impermanent loss, and other variables, you can do so using APY.Vision. Also, if you're interested in maintaining privacy on chain, there are a few projects that can do it better than Tornado.Cash. TornadoCash.eth.limo, if you're interested in going straight to the app, make sure to choose Gnosis Chain from the network selection menu. Something cool about this deployment on Gnosis Chain is the fact that by virtue of the utility token being a stable coin, XDAI, uh, you can make your deposits with peace of mind and wait for the maximum number of transactions after your deposit to achieve maximum privacy. So at this point in the video, you all gotten a good flavor of a variety of projects across a number of categories deployed either exclusively on or integrated with Gnosis Chain. So to wrap up, we'll share a few bridges you can use to bring your assets over to Gnosis Chain to explore those projects we've shared with you as well as others, and of course, enjoy those super cheap transaction fees. If you're bridging from ETH mainnet, you do have a variety of options, but the easiest of which might be to head over uh, to the Omni bridge to make the transaction. If on the other hand, you're bridging from an alternative L1 or an L2, we can recommend you check out either Connext or Hop.exchange to make it happen. We provided a chart for you here on the right to help make your decision. Also worth noting, Hop.exchange employs an AMM-like framework that enables you to become a liquidity provider to earn transaction fees on cross-chain transfers. To conclude, if you liked the video, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow Gnosis Chain on Twitter, and check out their Medium or their Docs to learn more. In the meantime, y'all stay bullish, and we'll see you in that next video.